Hello YouTube, it's Chris with Expat Theory again. Thought it would be a good time to make another video. Uh, if you don't know anything about trucking, the truck drivers have a set limit of hours that they can drive per day and per week. So my co-driver and I both have hit our weekly limit. And we have to take a 34 hour break here, and get some rest and get uh, recharged before we can get back on the road. So we stopped here at a truck stop in Boardman, Oregon. We've got a delivery in uh, Clackamas. <clears throat> then we got a pickup and it's gonna go to North Carolina. Excuse the loud noise. Obviously at a truck stop. So I've been meaning for a while to go ahead and list out some of the uh, influences I've been having with some of the YouTubers uh, that are over in the Philippines already. Um, and I just keep forgetting to, to throw them in there. Uh, I first started watching uh, Rike's Adventures and Geo in the Philippines and Philly in the Philippines. And uh, I found them to be very informative and entertaining. Um, I also, here recently, I've been watching... Um, the Filipina P and uh, My Philippine Dreams. But my favorite one of them all, lots of trucks. My favorite one of them all is Amazing Philippines. Uh, Rod over there does a really good job. Um, very informative. Uh, he goes through a lot of real estate stuff, which is kind of kind of cool for me because I can get an idea of uh, what my budget's going to afford me once I get over there. Uh, he goes through some of the different apartments and condos and rentals and, and purchases and everything. So it's it's a very well-rounded channel. Um, and he, sometimes he'll just show you where he takes trips and goes places other than his home base, which is in Cebu. Um, I really like that channel. That's probably my favorite of them all um, I highly recommend if anybody is interested in, in going to the Philippines that you try to do a little you know research watch some of the videos get some information of what's going on over there and of course you know with COVID-19 right now it's got all, everything locked down but one of my goals and that's another thing I need to talk about is some of the goals I've set one of my goals is to get over there and visit prior to actually you know retiring there I want to get over there at least once if not twice if I if I could afford it I'll do it three times and go visit and check out some of the areas that are of interest to me um, another thing about the whole goals I've been setting little steps and stages for myself so I keep myself motivated and uh, you know I told you guys one of my first steps was to pay off all my credit card debt which I've already done uh, I started truck driving in February and by about August July August I had all of my credit cards paid off and at zero um, my next little step that I wanted to achieve was to have $10,000 in the bank. I'll have that done before Halloween. Um, that to me is huge. And I know a lot of people, you know, $10,000 really isn't that much money. But for somebody like me who's been at every end of the spectrum, you know, I've never been a millionaire or anything. But I've been pretty well off before. Uh, double income household, fairly nice house, four bedroom house. You know, the whole uh, house, kids, family, white pig fence, you know, that whole thing. Been there, done that. But I've also been at the very bottom end. I've actually been in a homeless shelter. So I've been at both ends of the spectrum. 10,000 in the bank. Uh, on the recovery end coming back up it, it feels good it feels nice and I'm going to be achieving that relatively quickly um, again 
I just started driving in February. I went to school in January. So I haven't even hit a year yet and I'm already hitting and ticking off some of these boxes and getting past some of these steps and stages towards my future. So that's huge for me. Um, after I get the 10 in the bank, the next step is for me is to clear up uh, some arrears that I have for my child support. There were times that I went unemployed and my unemployment was not enough to cover what I owed every month. Now they took out for the child support, but what I was receiving did not cover my monthly payment. And due to some confusion at the very beginning of my divorce, uh, there was some monies allotted to arrears right from day one. That I won't get into the whole fairness of it, but it wasn't. But it, it put me behind from, from day one. And I never did get caught up. Um, so I still have a little bit left out there that I need to take care of, get that cleared up. Uh, one of the laws they've put in the books, and for good reason, I understand, they've put it in the books that uh, you can't get a passport if you owe arrears and your child support. So I want to go ahead and get that arrears taken care of so that I can go to the next step, which is to get my passport, which is good for 10 years. I want to get that straightened out and in hand so that when I do decide to make my first trip over, I'll already have that passport in hand and I won't have any uh, hurdles to jump over while I'm trying to plan my trip to go over there. And of course, this will all have to be post COVID-19 because as of right now, uh, the information I'm having is that the Philippines really isn't even going to open for foreign travel until sometime in the second half of 2021. So it's going to be a little while before I can actually get over there, which is fine because it gives me enough time to take care of these things before I plan my trip. So that's where I'm at and uh, that's the next step and stage that I'm working towards. And uh, life's been pretty good so far. I mean, I can't really complain. This truck driving, uh, it's hard. It's hard work. It's definitely not something I would recommend for somebody who wants to have a social life. Because uh, basically, I'm in that truck 24-7. I've been home three times this year. So that tells you anything. If you're, if you're not dedicated to being out here on the road for long periods of time, it's harder to make the money. Um, there are other trucking jobs that you can do. There's there's local routes. There's dedicated routes. They have you know jobs that will have you home frequently. But the over the road long distance, yeah, that to really make the money, you got to be out here and stay out here. You you can't be running home all the time to take time off. So. For those of, those of you who might be interested in the truck driving end of it, uh, do do some research because there. Are, once you get some experience behind the wheel, it opens up a lot of doors and you can get some opportunities to do some jobs that would be more conducive to a, a family life or social life. So anyway, that that's about it for today. Uh, I hope to be making some more videos a little more frequently and posting those up. Uh, not let this channel get such a big gap between the videos so there'll be more to come soon and until then if you guys are interested you know hit the subscribe button and I'll try to keep the content flowing uh, if you got any comments or anything likes you know drop them down there in the bottom and uh, I'll talk to you the next time around